All right, I return for another episode with the uh, Lanius Cruiser that I started last uh, time. So, Lanius Cruiser, it's basically um, the uh, new type of like ship design that's basically introduced in the expansion. I'll note that uh, I'm actually trying to go for achievement where we basically have to keep our auction levels underneath 20%. And, you know, that's sort of hindering my ability to sort of move around these guys that actually require air around the ship, but, uh, you know, no worries, whatever, they can live, basically, in their little, you know, closed areas like that. Essentially for the ship, I have um, two main areas that I have to really concern be concerned about. It's like the engines and the weapons right here. Shields is also concerned. It would be nice if I pick up an Arlanius guy here, and hopefully I might do so because we're inside of the advanced sector where they like to show up. So hopefully we'll find an Arlanius guy to pick up. And here we go. So blah blah. Got a little bit of extra fuel, I'll take that for happiness sake. There's a store right there, but I got no um, scraps over to go there with, and I don't think I have any weapons I really want to sell, so... Uh, scans book to the last uh, vessel in the system, it appears to be navigating a rich debris field, harvesting the minerals. Hmm, I can attempt to harvest some myself, or attack the vessel, or ignore the vessel. Let's, uh, um, attempt to harvest some for ourselves. Yes, you attempt to navigate the debris, you come close to the last ship, and they proceed to try to harvest you. So, these guys apparently don't care if you're living or dead. Guess they're like the Borg. He's got himself a flat can, and he's also got himself uh, a burst laser. So this could be a very mean fight, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's see here. I've got myself the chain laser and the iron stunner going on right now. And I think what we're going to do... I think I want to hit his shields, perhaps, or his piling rider. And he's got 15 invasion, and he's got a guy in there, apparently. Okay, I gotta think here a little bit about my weapons. I'm probably gonna fire the Iron Stunner quite a bit as, uh, as um, you know, his rooms and all that soon, but I'll wait till this maybe charges up a little bit first. Then we'll do so. I'll take off all fire for now since I'm gonna be doing sort of a planned attack here on this guy. Okay, I want to basically take out these weapons as well as take out the guy in the shield room. But I want to take out the shields probably too as, mu as much as possible, so fire at that. And then that guy, guy will be stuck so he can't come out and repair. We'll keep firing this, I think, at the uh, shield room, the iron stunner. Should probably hack this guy so I don't miss. Okay, good. He's stunned again. That flash's gonna be annoying because the burst is gonna fall after in a bit. Oh, there goes my uh, iron stunner. All right, I'm gonna fire this again right here. So that takes out his shields, hopefully. And again, I forgot to use the hacking. I probably should have hacked his weapons. Is what I should have done. But whatever. Okay, my auction took a hit, but no, no real worries about that because this is not really an auction dependent ship. These guys can survive well enough, and there's plenty of air in these rooms for now. Okay, finally took out the burst laser. One moment, we're being phoned, so I'm just gonna check the phone call. Yes, 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 it's a good day to mow the lawn today, and I'm being told to do so, or about doing so. Anyhow, um, being attacked relentlessly. I actually want this guy to get up here to fix the auction before it ever does become a problem with my ship. Note that this guy is trying to get up to the weapons room, but he's having difficulty because, you know, the hacking thing is preventing from him doing so. So, very nice. Alright, um, we're actually going to hack him now, I think. And we'll use this advantage of doing so just to sort of, you know, basically uh, hit this shield down a little bit more. I think I'll fire the iron here in a bit. The purpose for finding the iron there will be to hopefully knock out his flat can before it does any more damage to me. So there goes his flat can, that's out of the way. 
Oh, we had a couple of misses there. But he doesn't have a pilot at this point, so um, he's only got automated I guess, systems, all pilot. So that's a blessing. This guy actually did quite a bit of damage to me, I think. Sadly. Probably should have had the iron shot hit there first, but whatever. Alright, at this point, this guy's really, you know, a sitting duck. I should probably go after him with the hull laser right here, maybe. I'll fire this right there, maybe. He's going to try and get us to his piloting, but he's going to die in a fire. So that's how Lanius dies. He disintegrates. And there goes the Lanius ship. So we kill him. That kind of hurt a little bit. Nice, we got a good haul from him. That's very nice. We'll send this guy back to be the pilot. Or not the pilot, but the engineer. Um, I finally have some scrap, so this is actually a good time to go to the store and maybe repair up a little bit. So maybe we'll do that or buy something. Uh, a large transport, um, transport ship on our going mains hail to you, Green's friend. We're getting out of the sector as soon as the, as soon as the shaft is fixed, and it's just you the same. I half expect those damn mail freaks to come and try and melt down our ship at any moment. We're trying to offload some inventory. You're interested in buying some. Perhaps you might be interested in buying some. Alright, so that's all the stuff I have. I don't have anything I really want to sell. So, apparently we got the chain iron for purchase here. Weapon, uh, weapons iron damage increases each time it fires to a max of four. Interesting. So basically you get, you know, a repeatedly getting stronger iron type of weapon. That could be useful in the boss fight. But, um... Really, I'm more interested in, you know, maybe just making sure I don't die. So we'll heal up a little bit first. And actually, I maybe want to do buy this because this would be a good weapon to pair up maybe the Iron Stunner. Um, I could use this to, you know, basically wheel down the shields faster and faster, and this thing can use to stun the true wherever they're trying to fix stuff. So that might be a strategy to pursue. Though it does require a lot of power to fire this up. It basically requires, you know, um, free power each time I'm basically, um, you know, I'm basically trying to keep this on with free power. And I assume if I stop firing this at any given time, it'll act like the chain laser. So there's a bit of adjustment to also using it. Okay, we're actually going to avoid buying it, I think, just for that reason. Okay, other stuff in here. I may want to get the backup battery, battery in this one because there's actually an achievement for, I guess, having backup battery, mind control, and hacking all on the same time. So I might just buy this for the sake of buying it. Kind of wish I left some scrap for the mind control, but, you know, repairs are sort of important. Let's get the backup battery. I'm going to basically repair up a little bit more. And now we have the backup battery ready for use whenever I need it. Let's go to the stress here. Someone might need help. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I took some damage, but, you know, I managed to um, get some scrap for that. Too bad I didn't get any uh, survivors, but oh well. Uh, someone across the battle, damage the landscraft that jumps away as soon as he sees you. Looking around this area, you suffer a number of destroyer um, oh, ships. It must have been quite the fight. You scrapped the remains. Very nice. Actually, while I'm um, thinking about it, I actually, you know, don't have enough weapon power for stunner, hull lasers, and chain lasers all at once, so maybe we'll do this right now with the sheer purpose of just getting enough power to power up everything here. So now I have access to all my uh, weapons all at once, the iron stunner, the hull laser, the chain laser, everything's access accessible and ready to go. So pretty damn strong weapon offensive on this ship at least. And let's go here. Uh, the image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto your screen. These male bastards think they can just absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die. Hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. Oh, well, too bad. Gotta fight intruders in my ship of, um, you know, no air. The only problem here is that these guys, uh, I can't really close the doors on these guys because, you know, these guys need the, um, I'm trying to get keepers under 20 air and I can't really get these guys out of here, so. Let's go after them with these guys, I guess. And I'm going to actually send you up here. 
in case that's where you plan to go. These guys will slowly suffocate, right? So I just have to hold them off before they damage anything. And then get this guy to flee before he dies. Get that guy to flee before he dies. Okay, well, these guys was the... Uh, Mage is the engines, this guy is the weapons, so... We're gonna go here. 